And then I've got this one. This is the charger that I'm going to be using to charge my battery. Um, it was very cheap, so I thought, what the hell, it, it, can't, it can't hurt. So this is a 2-cell charger here and the 3-cell charger here. And um, the, the power plug here is, I think it's a normal laptop um, power connector, but this is a US plug and I live in Europe, so I can't use that. I'm just going to switch it with a, a normal laptop uh, uh, charging cable and just plug it into that. I think it's the same. So, this is the charger. Right, I've then got the prop savers. Um, and the prop savers is um, basically a thing that helps save your props sometimes. Um, this one will be going over the motor actually here. And then there's some screws in there, I don't know if you can see them, those screws. There will be one on each side to, to keep this to keep this at this place around the axle. And then a prop, uh, one of those props will be going over this one. And then a band will be going, a rubber band will be going from one of the screws to another, holding the prop down and make it spin with the motor. The big, big transmitter here. And if it's got a lot of fancy buttons on here. It's got these two, it's got these two that I can spin around. So, and if, so of course got the trimmers here. And it, I'm not sure if it can can fit, but it, there's a small opening, opening there for a neck strap, so you can ha hang it around your neck. And there's a bind plug and a battery, um, battery indicator here. And the, of course the on-off button. And the interesting thing is it got a trainer port here. So I don't I don't know if it can be used as a trainer, but it got a plug like it. So they they feel quite nice actually. So and basically I'm gonna be using four channels uh, for a quad copter. Uh, this will of course be the the um, throttle, uh, the throttle stick, and then this one, this when you go up, it'll be flying forward with the quadcopter. If you're going back, it'll be flying back with the quadcopter. Of course, you're to the right, you're turning right, and to the left, you're turning left. And this one, when you flip it, this one to the left. It'll simply move sideways to the left, and the same to the right. Um, and you can trim it here, but I don't think you're going to use it when you are uh, doing a, a, um, a quadcopter. So, and it's a 2.4 GHz full range system, so I should be getting a lot of range, because I'm not going to use it for a F FPV, long range FPV system. If I'm going to use it as a FPV system, I will be max going at one kilometer or so. So I will still get plenty of range and plenty of controls with this one. The last thing I've got here, uh, oh, I need the receiver, not the last thing, but the second last thing I got here is the propellers. And the propellers uh, is basically what is lifting your, uh, your quadcopter. These are nine by five inch propellers, quite big, um, quite flexible. Oh, it's not, it's not, it's not flexible. They, um, I think they are, they're very good. Uh, always check uh, balance. It can be different from from propellers, um, so you should always balance your propellers, or you get a lot of vibration in there, and that will disturb your KK controller board or you can end up damaging your electronics um, because it, it can't stand the vibrations. So always balance your propellers no matter what, if you just tried one of them and hey, it wasn't balanced, the other ones could be out of balance. So always check and balance your propellers. 
uh, otherwise your electronics will be damaged or there's a chance that they will be damaged so that is basically the propellers the last thing that you will be needing on a quadcopter is of course the frame and I've got this piece of wood here it's uh, it's balsa wood it's extremely light and very rigid and strong um, so I would definitely recommend this if you're not building it out of carbon or aluminium or something like that I would if it is your first quadcopter uh, tricopter whatever you're building um, I would definitely re recommend either plywood or balsa wood because you can just make a new arm if it's in uh, if it's in, in wood and if it's in carbon fiber or carbon you have a little bit of trouble making a new one if you bought the frame so I would recommend building your own frame out of wood and um, it's very light I measured it for 220 grams and this one is one meter whoops one meter a uh, hundred centimeters uh, the length it is 10 centimeters here and it is two centimeters deep so I will be making a, um, a square square arm with two inches uh, sorry two centimeters uh, here and two centimeters in height in height height and then I don't really know the the arm length yet I have to measure some of the the um, the length of these wires and wires here and something like that so I don't know exactly the length of the frame yet but I will be updating the video log and you can follow my building so this is all you need for a quadcopter have some good advices uh, while building a quadcopter, leave a comment in the description below and I will take it to consideration and if you got any questions you can just ask, I will answer them if I can <laughs> or, and I will try to answer them either way so leave a comment if you've got anything to ask or feedback, positive, negative, I don't really care rate the video, like it, go to my blog um, where I will be writing and uh, describing every part in detail and I will be updating it a little bit sooner uh, than the video log so you've got a possibility to follow what's going on and this was just the beginning so I've just gone through all the parts um, that I'm going to be using in the future videos I will be showing you how to put together a quadrocopter so that's all for today I've got a Facebook page make sure to like the Facebook page and make sure to to follow the blog and uh, make sure to stay tuned and have fun that's all bye